As of yesterday, and I highly doubt that Google will actually fix this, if you search for the word idiot on Google Images, almost all of the top search results are pictures of President Trump. After a bunch of activists on Reddit decided to game the algorithm and manipulate the machine learning into linking the two together. Their little prank is making headlines. CNET reports, Google the word idiot, get pics of Donald Trump. The result is likened to Redditors gaming Google search algorithm. The Hill reports that Google does not interfere in offensive or controversial search results. Yeah, right. The company has instead opted to explain some questionable search results through advertisements that appear to users of relevant search terms. Oh, that's hilarious. They say they don't manipulate the search results and just let the algorithm organically return the most popular result. Because when you search for almost anything on YouTube, which is owned by Google, or actually, I guess, was owned by Google due to corporate restructuring. Technically, they're both now owned by Alphabet, their parent company. When you search for almost anything on YouTube now, the top search results are videos from mainstream media channels. I've demonstrated this with my number one most viewed video, Donald Trump's Funniest Insults and Comebacks, which has about 9 million views, which is buried under 50 other videos of mostly results from mainstream media channels. But just take a look at this, how pervasive this is. Let's see what happens when we search for CNN is fake news, shall we? Oh, look at that. It's CNN and Jim Acosta, NBC News, CNN's channel again, Fox Business, RT America, USA Today. Where are my videos about CNN being fake news? Maybe they're on the second page. <laughs> nope, not there either. How about page number three of the search results? Nope, I don't see any of them there either. I'm now on page eight of the search results and I still don't see any of my videos. Oh, there's one on the 10th page of the search results. CNN reporter heckled with fake news shouts by passerbys. The 10th page. And check this out, they're even embedding articles from Encyclopedia Britannica and Wikipedia directly under the videos talking about certain subjects so that they can reinforce the establishment consensus. Topics like Climate change. Here's a video titled Global Warming is the Biggest Fraud in History. And when you go to watch the video, directly below it is the Wikipedia article trying to debunk this video. Here's the Fox News YouTube channel. Why climate change has run its course. And when you click on the video, there it is. It's the article to Wikipedia's global warming page debunking this Fox News video. They're doing this on almost all videos that cover topics which they say have conspiracy theories surrounding them. So if you just type in the keyword of Obama in Kenya and get all the videos with those search results and you click on the videos, most of them, oh, not on CBS News though, because that's an authoritative source. But if you click down here on Arab News, the Arab News YouTube channel, then it links to Obama's Wikipedia page, which clearly says that Barack Obama, uh, oh, in full Barack Hussein Obama, was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. And then it links to the Encyclopedia Britannica article. If you search for the Bohemian Grove, which I've written an entire book about in 2015, by the way, titled The Bohemian Grove Facts and Fiction, and if you haven't heard of the Bohemian Grove, just be prepared to be severely disturbed when you look into it. If you search for the Bohemian Grove now on YouTube, the top search result is an article to the Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh, let's see what happens when we click on some of these videos. What is the Bohemian Grove? Oh, right here is the article. Oh, it's just a club. It's an invitation social club. Don't worry about it. It's just a bunch of rich people having a vacation. Let's see what happens when we search for the exact title of another one of my awesome videos. Shall we? How about this one? Reporter whines about being seated in back row at Trump press conference. Oh, this number one search results from CNN with 78,000 views. Reporter asked Putin, do you have compromising info on Trump? Number two, CNN's YouTube channel. Number three, number four, number five, BBC, CNN, NBC News, The New York Times. Oh, here it is, down at the bottom of the page, with a measly 711,000 views. Well, no wonder it's downranked so low.
I sure miss the good old days when the top search results on YouTube brought up the, you know, the most popular videos about that subject instead of manipulating it to favor mainstream media sources and now embedding articles to Wikipedia under certain videos. And look at this, if you search for my name on Twitter using the Twitter search, my account doesn't even show up at all in any of the top recommended search results. As the midterm elections approach this fall, I can't imagine how much more Orwellian things are going to get because I literally can't imagine how much more Orwellian it's going to get. But I'll stay on top of it. And like I said before, I'm releasing a new shirt every three weeks or so. And the latest one is the Honest Abe shirt. So go to markdice.com or click the link in the description below to check it out. You can get a t-shirt, long sleeve hoodie, a bunch of different colors. So thanks again for your support. Have a great weekend. Check back on Monday for a new report. And I will see you soon.